Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be doing a design team project for Craft Galley and using this Lawn Fawn Happy Trails stamp set. I love this stamp set. It is an oldie but an excellentie, if we could say that. It's amazing and I love the mid-level stamps that Lawn Fawn has because it's not the high price tag and you get a lot of images. So this one's been in my stash for a while, as you can tell. And I love it, and I'm going to be super lazy right here and put some AdTech tape runner to pick up and just stamp them all out. But I'm using the Tim Holtz platform, and I was on the rubber side, so now I have to flip it over to get the clear side, and it picks up my stuff super duper easy. I'm going to take out some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink because I'm going to be using Bristol Smooth cardstock, Arteza Real Brush pens, and then you want to use a waterproof ink. And that this is the best one I have found. I love it. So I'm going to stamp that out. I think it was just a little bit extra there with my presses <laughs> to get that image down. But it worked. Taking some clear embossing powder. And I am going to heat set that. Now I really wanted to keep the coloring in for you all. But when I was editing my video, there was some really funky focusing happening. And it was making me nauseous watching it. So... I decided to not do that to you and not make you guys sick. And so I do apologize for that, but you'll see me color many, many more times in the future. I'm going to take out this Bristol Smooth paper and some Twisted Citron Oxide ink, and I'm going to cover that panel with my makeup brush. Now, my idea here with this Hillside Border die is I want to make the road. And so I take that and I cut it into, in half. And then I'm going to separate the two pieces, creating the road between them. And you'll see that in just a minute. But as I'm looking at this, one side has the stitch, one side doesn't. I wanted the bottom to be flat and flush with the card. So that bottom piece right there, I'm going to toss it to the side. And I'm going to pull out the other piece, which is this one, getting rid of the stitch with my scissors. You want to use a very fluid motion when you're doing that because it can seem choppy if you don't. So just give that your best shot with just a smooth cut. This is Mode Lawn Distress Oxide and it's gonna add some dimension to that Twisted Citron. I wanted to make this card as bright and uh, cheery as possible and so I picked those two colors. That's my favorite combination for grass is Twisted Citron and Mode Lawn. Now I'm gonna take out this mountain dye that I've had hiding in my stash and that's gonna be our backdrop for the card. So I cut that out and then in the center where my road is, I'm gonna take some Distress Ink in Black Soot, regular Distress Ink, and I'm gonna cover up the middle of that road. Now I kind of penciled that out with my two pieces so I know what I'm doing. Adding some Art Glitter Glue to the back, I'm gonna place that onto my panel. This white panel here is gonna be where everything basically sits, and then we're gonna put that onto a card base. So I get that down, and I'm cutting down, just making sure all my pieces fit. And I'm looking at the card and something just seemed off about the card. And I realized that I never colored my sky. So I'm gonna go in and do that in just a minute. But here you can see how just by separating those two pieces of cardstock, we've created a road. So there we have it, that was super simple. I'm only gonna pop up on this card some of the images on the top, but everything else is gonna be laid flat. So the mountains and the grass, those are all laid flat, a couple trees. So, all right, now I'm going to take my sentiment. My sentiment was happy trails. I have a friend who's moving from Florida to New Mexico soon. So I'm going to send this off to her and her daughter. And um, it's going to be a nice long road trip <laughs> from Florida to New Mexico. But um, anyway, the blue right here is too dark. If I had to do it over again, or I could still go back and remove it with some of that water, I would have done a much lighter blue so you can see the happy trails. But in any event, I'm going to try to fix that in a little bit. Here I'm just using some water for that Distress Oxide look, and I'm going to pick it up with a paper towel. And um, I like the way that looks, but I did not want that to get on the mountains. That's why I covered them up, because then you'll kind of get that, that puffy peeling look off the mountains. I'm going to add some snow caps to my mountains, because even in the summer, it might be snowy on top of a mountain, which is very high up. So I just did some random kind of shapes on the top. I didn't do anything perfectly symmetrical like a, you know, like a half circle or anything like that. Just kind of made it look authentic or organic. 
I'm going to lay down my trees here. And this card's coming together. It's a scene card, but it's really quite simple to put together. I took out a alcohol marker, an alcohol marker here in Spectrum Noir, and this is just one of my light blues. And I'm not going to do any shading or anything fancy. I think this would be really pretty, too, if you decided to pick, like, a purple or a pink or orange and make, like, a sunset or a sunrise. And I think that would be fun, too. But I just went for just a regular old blue, middle of the day, road tripping it. All right, so then I'm going to put down my next tree. And originally I had only colored up two trees, but I realized that this card needed a little bit more. I did forget uh, the road, the little line in the roads. So I took the hillside, and you can see what I'm doing, just taking the die and following it along. This way it's the same exact route as the cut lines. And so that's a nice little trick there too. These little foam squares are just the cutest. <laughs> I know we don't care about cute factor when we're talking about adhesive, but um, they are very sticky as well, which is the most important piece. But I'm going to pop up all my images with these little foam squares and a little bit of glue right where that hitch is for the car to the trailer. And then this card is pretty much done. I'm going to do a couple final little touches to it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull out my Nouveau Glaze because we have to make those windows look realistic and we're going to cover those up. Here's one of the fixes that I did is I just outlined my sentiment in white gel pen. Listen, I'm not writing home about this sentiment, okay? I'm not happy with it. But I left it in there because sometimes you're just not happy with things and that's okay. But if you want to try to outline it in white, that might help you if you ever run into this problem. Or you could just redo the entire sentiment, which I probably will end up doing anyway. But I kept it in there. So I'm going to add my Nouveau Glaze to my windows and also the front light. And then just some sparkle for the trees. Because I find a way to sneak in some sparkle on every single card. This card is very neutral friendly, I feel. It could go to um, any one of your friends. And I figured this would be a nice little send off for her. So there we have it. That's the finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by with us every Saturday here for the Craft Galley shop. We will have a design team project like Clockwork. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything from us. And I'll list what we used below. In the meantime, we'll put up some videos here so it can hold you over till we see you next week. We all hope you have a wonderful week and a fabulous weekend and get some crafty time in. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.